Hi guys, Alex here and welcome back to my channel. If you're here for the first time, make sure you subscribe to see more of my content. Also check the links in the description. If you have been on my channel for a while now, you will know that I started my channel doing underwear reviews and I think I used to love them so much. It was like something that was meant to be because I started my modeling career doing fashion wrong way and then I moved on to underwear and fitness. From there, naturally, I started doing underwear reviews on YouTube. Now I have my own brand and I think I kind of stepped back from doing underwear reviews but I'm like, you know, why should I stop doing what I enjoy doing because I now have my own underwear brand. So today I am doing an underwear review. It's um, the first one maybe for a very long time but I think I am a bit more experienced. I have my glasses to prove it and i also now have my own tailoring measuring tape see now it looks like i know what i'm doing before i had this i had this one that was used for that is used for builders like they use this one so i had this one and the first thing i did when i got this was to take measurement of you know who or you know what but anyway um yeah i am back on the underwear review um business and today i am reviewing the aussie underwear i have them in extra extra large and i also have them in medium now the reason why i got the aussie bomb in um, these sizes is because i bought them from um a Chinese website and to save money and I wasn't too sure if the sizing was going to be good uh, because they usually have a smaller sizing system so that is why I have them in medium and extra extra large with my physique I have a, a very small um, waist my waist is 32 actually 30 if you just take a measurement of it I'm going to show you so if we use inches and go through my waist yeah if, so if you take my waist like literally right down there it's like almost 28 29 but you know I, if i wear a size small underwear it's not going to go through this bad boy so that is why i wear medium and with some underwear actually wear large the waistband might be a bit too big but um, at least it to go through my glutes the first thing i need to talk about is the fabric this is um pretty much 95 percent cotton and five percent elastin or polyar made or whatever you want to call it um yeah and i think that is a bit basic and lazy for most brands because you know i've spent time studying fabric for underwear and i think just 95 percent cotton and five percent elastane it's just a bit too basic for an underwear it doesn't give it enough flexibility and um you know stretchiness personally um that's why i think the next thing i always look out for now when it comes to underwear is the leg sizing i need the leg sizing to be big enough and yet not too big so if we take my tape and check um i just need to find out where it's inches and <laughs> where it's here all right yeah so uh we are going to use centimeters so if i use my tape measure uh to take the measurement of this this is uh 23 so i think that is quite standard for most um but if it's 23 sometimes it's best to add it a lot more elasticated because this is not going to fit my big legs um, but for standard people 
standard, like people that do not go to a gym, this will be fine. You know, sometimes it might even be too big if you have like really tiny um, quads. Quads? Yeah, quads, you know. Another thing I always want to look out for is the inner label. Now with this one, they have added it to the waistband, which I don't think is the best thing to do because sometimes you can feel it when you have the underwear on. Most brands nowadays will have the label on the fabric because then you can feel it and yeah, it's a bit more comfortable. Another good thing to talk about in underwear is the uh, seam. So that is literally looking at the finishing almost and the leg, the finishing at the inside and looking at the tailoring and all that. This is not seamless because you can see the visible kind of tailoring and all the patterns. When you talk about a seamless um, underwear, they try to hide the joints and the tailoring a bit more so that it just feels a bit more comfy and fresh on your skin. Um, so that is what they usually do. This is not very seamless, so you can literally see and feel every inch of the um, tailoring, which is the style of this underwear. And I think it's not that bad. They've done a good job with the finishing. It's not messy, it, it, you know, it's pretty much, yeah, it's quite nicely done. Like if you look inside. Another thing I've kind of really focused on recently is the size of the waistband. Again, I'm going to use my, um, okay. This time I am going to use the centimeters as well. And let's find out what is the size of this waistband. So this is a four, like almost, yeah, I'll call it a four, which I think is the standard for most underwear nowadays. We have some underwears that are 3.5, some are three, like really small, and some like really big, bold uh, waistband goes up to 4.5. My new collection is going to be a 4.5, which I think looks one of the most important things, and that's why I've left it for the very end, is the pouch. Now, this pouch design I think is good. It almost has like the 3D effect. And if you look from the inside, you notice that, you know, it's designed to, you know, pretty much have some room. I'm going to flip it. So if you look at it from this way, you will notice it has a very nice cup effect and I think that this is where most underwear should be going like I hate underwears that have a very tight pouch I'm like if there's no room for me when I'm rested imagine when the monster is out like you know when I'm excited you know I'm just going to have no room so um, I am a big fan of nice big pouch um, for comfort and also to make sure that it can contain the monster when um, when it's woken up. So what do you guys think about the Aussie Bomb um, underwear? Um, I think I like this color because it's bright, uh, but I think the XXL is a bit off in terms of proportion and size and stuff like that. I think maybe next time I will try not to be too cheap and get the underwear from a UK website or something and maybe the measuring will be a bit better and to fit a bit better. The tradition of my underwear reviews have always been to rate my underwear based on design, functionality and looks. So my rating for Aussie Bomb based on this underwear would be mm, for um, design, I think the design is nice. I like the cup pouch, so that alone gives it a score. I like the waistband, and yeah, I think it's pretty much um, a nice design. The finishing can be a bit better. You can see there, it's a bit off there. So I think I'm going to give it a 3.5 because you know there's nothing excited or exciting. Um, about the underwear, um, but uh, 3.5 is standard, is above um, average. Average is 2.5, by the way. Um, so um, 3.5 out of 5 stars, 
will be really good for uh, this underwear. In terms of functionality, I think I'm going to leave it at uh, 3.5 stars as well. And that is all because of the pouch. The pouch can be a bit bigger or it should be a bit bigger or maybe it's the sizing issue. But I think because of the pouch, I think it's um, going to be uh, comfy for people that have the right size on. So I think I'm going to give it 3.5 based on that. There's nothing else that it has been designed for, so 3.5 it is. In terms of the looks, I think, you know, I like the cut of the underwear. I like the um, seam there. I like the pouch design. Yeah, everything looks good. The um, branding on the um, waistband, I think, is very sexy and very modern. Not just putting a writing right across. Um, so I think I like that as well. So yeah, so in terms of um, looks, I think it's a, a good brand, a good look. So uh, maybe a four on this one, on looks. Um, yeah, I think maybe a four on that. Tell me what you think. If you think I've been too generous or too stingy with my ratings, let me know. Also, as always, tell me what color you think looks best on me. I always like bright colors, but you let me know what you think as well. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.